Lady playing the piano, shooting billiards, and public speaking were the four things I have always wanted to learn since I was in kindergarten. Not necessarily happening in this order or simultaneously. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen, none of this had happened until two years ago when I finally took the first step. And that is where the fun begins. <laughs> I started ice skating when I was 17 years old. And I think I still look like 17 today. <laughs> I wish. Well, who cares? I haven't ice skated for years. It seems like ice skating and rollerblading are similar to some extent. When I first put the rollerblade gears on my feet, it was as intense as approaching the table topics. I wanted to walk as slow as possible as if stepping on the clouds. But gradually, I got used to the skill of rollerblading, and now I can skate as fast as the wind. However, I still don't know how to stop. <laughs> if you happen to take a walk in Huntington Beach, you probably will hear someone yelling, Come in, throw, watch out, you're left. No, 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 you're right. That might be me. <laughs> Playing the piano. If you know any of Chinese kids, many of them are capable of playing the piano, and often they are forced to learn by their parents. Unlike those kids, I did not have the opportunity to learn when I was little. One day, I was grocery with my mother when we passing through the toys section. I pointed at the piano toys and asked, Mom, can I have that? My mother took a good look at the price tag and said, Holy moly, I can buy tons of rice with that price. Needless <laughs> to say, I did not get the piano toy I had wanted, but I did get this instead to practice my Chinese one finger kung fu. <laughs> In the summer of 2006, I joined a group class for the piano beginners at the musical school. <coughs> at the beginning of the course, my fingers were stiff and they looked just like this. I now am taking a private lesson and it is getting me one step closer to the world of Beethoven, Mozart, or Champagne, or whatever. Since I have discovered I am actually tone deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm not very good at playing the piano yet, but it has become one of my, my lifelong passions. Another activity I am passionate about is shooting billiards. The first time when I held the cue was many, many years ago. And the person who taught me how to play was a nice guy, but maybe not the best coach. For instance, when he was focusing on hitting balls, he's saliva. <laughs> Since then, I told myself not to play pool again until I find the right coach who close his mouth. <laughs> Last year I met a friend and he made me pick up the stick again. I now can hit the ball, even without looking at it. But when I looked and hit the balls, they were never going to the pockets. I am making progress, however. You can witness that if you play pool with me next time. Finally, is my public speaking, which I am improving at a Toastmasters. I found it delightful and I just have to tell everyone I know about it. Participating in Toastmasters exercises me physically, emotionally,
emotionally and intellectually. For example, I got the idea of the speech when I was rollerblading, and I had a structure of the speech when I was playing the piano. Finally, I am delivering the speech here, and I am having fun, although the speech is going to be over. But the fun will never end. You will carry on to the age of 50, 60, or even longer in my life. The more I do it, the more I realize is that I can actually do everything that I like for fear and have fun with it. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I, Sherry Lu, approve the following message. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. Take your first step. And that is where the fun begins. Mr. Toastmaster.